Hey guys, it's me, Messy Frenzy, and welcome to my network, You Social Being. Yeah, I decided I'm going to make a video about, you know, A-levels. So this video is going to be about if you should do A-level economics. It's kind of like a mix between business and government and politics put together. And it's like the study of behaviours in the economy. So, like, people's spending behaviours and some regulations and taxes. And if you're interested in that stuff, then the subject's for you. For economics, you need to have a set of skills. You need to be good at maths. There's equations. Like, things such as el elasticity of demand, elasticity of supply. Um, you know, you need to know those off by heart and you need to be good at putting numbers in and figuring it out figuring out what the answers are you need to be good at writing there's a set structure you need to be following and it's something called a chain of analysis where you have to have your point and then an example then you need to then you need to keep explaining a situation that could occur and then another situation that could occur you'll learn more in class but it takes like immense writing skills i'm not really good at english or stuff but i still did it i kind of enjoyed it but it's kind of noticeable those who are good at writing got higher grades than me who wasn't that great at writing because i just waffle the things you'll learn you'll learn about supply and demand you'll learn about taxes you'll learn about um different policies that the UK um that the UK used to um regulate money and things. You might learn about Brexit because it might pop up in the exam. It popped up in mine. Um what else do you learn? You learn about the financial sector, so that's like the Bank of England what they do. Basically almost everything to do with money and regulations. And yeah, you look at the consumers a bit, but then you mainly focus on you mainly focus on the relationship between the firms, which are businesses, the government, and I don't know why I'm doing this, but consumers. That's the main things you learn. So, um is economics good for you? Probably. There's a lot to learn, it's content heavy, so you'll have to be on it. I'd suggest looking I, I would suggest reading into it before you go into the lesson because sometimes things could be confusing especially with the financial sector that is the longest 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 and hardest part of the content ever i would say um yeah, it's, I th think that's the worst part. So I'd suggest looking at that early. And <coughs> yeah. Yeah, I'd suggest looking at that early because that's going to be really hard to figure out. And if you understand, and if you understand that, then the rest of it will be a breeze to you. Also, to let you know, there's lots and lots and lots of diagrams. You have to remember the names of them. You have to remember what they look like. You need to be able to adjust it to the question. So if they give you a figure, you're going to have to write that figure and then adjust it if they say increase or decrease. You're going to have to figure that out. Econ Plus Dow, he's a great YouTuber about um, economics. I'll leave him down below. He does every single exam board in economics. I'll leave him below. I'll put one of the easier videos down below. And if you if you like it, then you're more li most likely going to enjoy the rest of the course. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, there's lots of equations, diagrams, a lot of content. But apart from that, it's fine. So, I should let you know also that um, there's two parts to economics. There's micro and macro. Micro is where you focus on businesses and macro is when you focus on the country, like a country as a whole, basically. So yeah, 
and you'll be in micro you look at things are like demand supply and price um wages yeah that kind of stuff and then in um macro you learn things such as policies things such as policies the financial sector the more complex stuff is in macro so i'll leave a micro and macro video down below for you guys to check out and also the last thing you'll probably want to know is how the exams are so i did ocr okay so i can only speak for ocr there's three papers for economics there is what, what happened to my mouth there are three papers for economics there's micro there's macro and then there's um themes in economics so micro and macro are basically the same structure so you'll have at the beginning you'll have a data response which consists of like one-ish like two markers three markers five markers six markers eight markers 15 markers and then when you get to the end um you'll have two 25 markers and you get a choice between two questions so if you don't like the look of one you can do the other one write it but yeah that's how it works for micro and macro they're both two hours they're all two hours all the papers are two hours sorry i should have been and the last paper <laughs> i hate that one the most that you have multiple choice at the beginning so you have you have 25 questions to answer and then you go move on and you have a data response i believe and then you have to write essays on the data response and then that's the end of it so that one sounds like the easiest one but they throw you under the bus and they cheat you they cheat you in that one it's disgusting but apart from that if you have any questions leave them down below but that's all i can tell you and thanks for listening so good luck with your a levels if you're starting this year you got this if you don't like the course change straight away i promise you you'll be for the better the easy ones to do the easy a levels to do epq well that's more like an as sociology english perhaps mm, business health and social care i don't know that's what i have to say and i'll see you guys in the next one bye